Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and today we're going to do a comparison with the Glock 19 versus the M&P 9 Compact 2.0. Very respected guns, both are duty guns. They have a similar size and weight to it, no great difference there. Both have four inch barrels and both are CCW'd by many people. I know the Glock 19 is a very popular choice and the M&P 9 Compact, people really love it. So this will be a good one. Not a great size and weight difference between the two, but there are some ergo differences as well as what they offer. The Glock, typically more expensive, right around 530 to 550. This is a Gen 4 model. It does have additional back straps. It has night sights on it, but it comes standard with the field goal rear sight front dot and finger grooves but not with the gen 5 models but nonetheless five and a half pound trigger does have a trigger bar safety in there and 15 round magazines I already mentioned a four inch barrel and many people call this gun their ccw there was a time i'm not sure if it's still like that that the glock 19 was the most popular ccw gun in america and a while back i did a poll and by far the Glock 19 won that poll which had to do with what is your carry gun so a lot of people love it it does have a blocky feel to it it is thick but that's pretty custom with Glock handguns let's take a few shots and we'll check it out all right known for its reliability and in many occasions you know whether it's uh, super hot super cold buried in snow buried in the ground whatever the case people love the glock 19 and they're proud to call it their home defense gun or their carry gun or even their duty gun here we have the mp9 compact 2.0 this is also a duty gun you know a lot of law departments switched over from glocks to m and and the one thing I will say about this is that the ergos on it are superior to the Glock. It, it, it's also a double stack that carries 15 rounds. I have 10 loaded, but it, it just feels really nice. And it also has uh, not just back straps, but modules that go all the way around. Uh, three dot sights that are not polymer. The Glocks are plastic sights. These are metal sights. Three dots, adjustable rear sight, a full pick rail, a four inch barrel, but it doesn't have a trigger bar safety yet it's a hinged trigger so it's got a little hinge in there and it has a nice crisp break right around five and a half pounds as well a lot of people love the m p line and this compact model is a popular choice by many people both ccw and duty let's take a few shots All right, so which is the model you would choose? Is it the M&P 9 Compact 2.0 or is it the Glock 19? Well, I waited to shoot these side by side. I wasn't sure, I've shot both of these guns several times and I've owned the Glock longer, but I put my share rounds through this M&P 9 Compact and I was going to wait till I shot them next to each other to make a determination as to which one I prefer. And I have to say, <laughs> after doing that, there is no great difference in my shooting impressions. You know, they, they are so similar in many ways. But the M&P 9 Compact is a bit cheaper. You can pick this up for under $400, maybe four and a quarter, as where the Glock is about $100 more. So given that, and the fact that you don't have to change out the sights, not that you have to here, but you can see that I did change out the sights. Given that, I would choose the M&P 9 Compact 2.0 over the Glock 19 if I had to make a choice. But I will mention, I already made a choice because both these are mine and I'm keeping them. I certainly enjoy them. What I wanna know is which of these two models do you prefer? And why do you prefer them? Because they are both excellent compact size 
handguns. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.